There's a story to be told. It's not so long, tales for young and old. Won't you come along? Tee diddly. Die. I got me a tenner, I sure know how I'm going to spend her. <laughs> Hello, my friends. <laughs> well, sure it's good to see you here today, you know. Yeah, I have some exciting news to share. Yeah, would you like to hear about my news? You would? Oh, oh well, that's great. I got some money. <laughs> yeah, I got a tenner. Ten whole euros that I get to spend any way I want. Yeah. I was just headed down towards, uh, you know, Padre Shop in Croom, you know? The spa. Yeah, he's got a great selection of sweets and other yummy things, you know? Every time me mommy or daddy takes me in there, I always like to take a look at the yummy stuff. They even have an ice cream station, you know? Do, do you like ice cream? You do? Oh, that's great. I like it when they mix stuff in it, you know? Yeah. I asked the Padre if I could get carrots mixed in me mind one time, do you know? <laughs> yeah, he said no worries, and he's glad to do it for me. Would you ever like to try carrots mixed in your ice cream? What? No? Well... Yeah, I guess you are humans. <laughs> well, so, are you super curious as to where I got my money from? Would you like to try a guess? Oh, you would? Okay, go ahead. I'm listening. Yeah? Someone asked, did I find the money? Nope. Keep trying. Someone asked, did I get it as a gift? Like, like for my birthday? Nope. Not even close to my birthday. <laughs> uh, one more guess. Uh, oh. Someone asked if I worked to earn the money. Yes! <laughs> yeah, you're 100% right, you know. I worked to get my tenner. I did a job, in fact. Yeah. I helped me dad do some extra work around the house, you know. Well, to be honest, I don't have the best track record for being a good worker around our house. No. You see, I'm not very, ex uh, I'm not very excited to do any work for anyone, you know. Yeah, you know, I have to admit that sometimes I can be sort of selfish. Do you know what being selfish means? It basically means that you think most of yourself. And very, very little of others. Yeah. Now, I'm not very proud of this attitude I had, you know. Me mom and dad weren't too happy about it either, you know. Maybe I should tell you the whole story, or at least the important bits. As you know, I like to hop. A lot. Yeah. Now you're probably thinking because I'm a hare that I would naturally like to hop around. Well, yes and no. Certainly God created us to hop because of our big back paws, a proof of that, you know. Yeah. But for me, hopping is like a sport. Yeah, I like to try and be a better hopper every day. Yeah. Like, I like to see how fast I can hop. And, and then how high I can hop, how far I can hop, like in one jump, you know? Stuff like that. I even have a little book I carry around in my backpack. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I carry it around and I like to record how I'm doing every day because I love hopping! <laughs> yeah. However, however, because I love hopping so much, I tend to ignore or try to avoid doing anything else but working on my hopping techniques. This is why I would meant, would have meant earlier about being selfish, you know? I'm only thinking about me when I'm thinking about hopping. So my daddy and mommy have been trying to encourage me not to spend all my time hopping. Yeah. Do you know, we have a large family, so it's really important that we do all our best to help each other around the house. The dirty dishes and laundry alone are unbelievable! Do you get to help around your house? Yeah? What do you get asked to do? Put away your toys? Yeah, that's a good job. 
Help wash dishes? Oh, man! You can come over to my place and help with ours. <laughs> me daddy asked me to help him move some turf that he had got delivered into our turf to our turf shed, you know. I was quick to say to him, I sure, daddy, no problem. But what I was saying inside was, I sure, daddy, I'll help you after I do all my hopping exercises. Yeah. I was to meet him just after lunch. But sadly, I never made it. Nope. I grabbed a quick toasty and took off for the meadow to do my hopping. Of course, I lost track of time. I didn't come home to near sundown, you know. I was exhausted. I just wanted to go straight to bed, you know. When I opened the door to my bedroom, Daddy was sitting on my bed. Yep. Waiting for me. It was when I saw him then that I remembered of him, him asking me about to hop with the turf. Yeah. Daddy asked me to hop up on the bed. And honestly, I didn't feel like hopping at all. It was my love for hopping that got me into the mess in the first place, you know. Daddy talked to me and told me he was disappointed in my choices. Yeah. He showed a very interesting verse from Proverbs 18.9. It says, One who is slack in his work is broader to one who destroys. Daddy said that when I choose to ignore others or doss in my work, you know, I can really hurt relationships with other people. But by me not doing what I've been asked makes people think that I don't care or respect them. I was so sorry for the way I've been acting, you know. Daddy prayed with me, and we asked God to please help me be a better listener and worker. Yeah. Do you sometimes pray to God for help? Some of you? Do you know, you, we, we, and you, we, we can all talk to God anytime, anywhere. Yeah. He's always listening, and he wants to help us. Ha <laughs> ha. Isn't that great? Yeah. Well, I should be off. I can't wait to spend my tenor at the shop. Yeah! I can already taste me carrot ice cream. Yummy, yummy, yummy! <laughs> Bye for now. We'll be talking again soon. Bye-bye. There's a story to be told. It's not so long. Tales for young and old. Won't you come along? Tee diddly die. Tee diddly die. Tee diddly die. die. <laughs> <laughs>